could solve this equation, this literal equation, meaning there's just a bunch of a bunch of different variables in it for d. Let's solve it for d. So fortunately, there's only one d here. If there was more than one d here, it'd be a little bit more complicated of a problem. I'd have to use some factoring, possibly, or adding like terms or different things like that. But since there's only one d, what I'm going to do is get rid of the bc first. So I'm going to subtract bc from both sides. And I always like to rewrite the whole problem as I go so I can see each step. Now I need to get rid of, let's do this one thing at a time. I need to get rid of this bc, which isn't being added now. That's being multiplied. So how do I get rid of something that's being multiplied? Divide. I divide it. So a minus bc all over bc equals one-half d. I could have also divided by one-half at the same time, but I'm doing like this so that it's a little bit easier to see. And now how do I get rid of the one-half? What's the opposite of multiplying by one-half? Divide. Dividing by one-half. And what's dividing by one-half the same thing as doing? How do you divide by a fraction? You multiply by the reciprocal. So what I would do for this is I would multiply both sides by 2 because then those cancel out and you get D and now that 2 doesn't multiply the bottom and the top it only multiplies, it's like 2 over 1 right? so it's only multiplying the top so it's 2 times A minus BC all over BC that would be the simplest form if you had written the one half in the bottom here, that's okay, but typically they don't want to have fractions inside fractions. So that probably they probably would call this not simplified all the way. So you want to get rid of that one half there and put it up here. You could simplify this more because you could you could distribute this two in. So it could also be written like this. That would be fine. And then you could even simplify that more if you wanted by taking this BC and distributing it into both terms there, which would give you 2A over BC minus, now those BCs would cancel, it would just be minus 2. So again, on the test, you might see something, if it's a multiple choice problem or an ACT, you might see the problem like that. Or you might see it like that. You have to uh, but you have to be able to go from one to the other because on a multiple choice test, sometimes they don't do it the exact same way that you do.